This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Alright, and welcome to Dice Commando. This is Swag Dean doing a little throwback of doing some draft with Star Wars Destiny. I'm going to try to do a series. So we have Across the Galaxy packs. I'm going to open with the Rivals draft pack. We're going to do uh, Convergence here with Allies of Necessity. And then I have some packs of Spark of Hope. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do for the draft pack there. I might do something interesting so keep an eye out for that so we're going to open up eight packs we're going to do sealed i can do this by myself um packs of convergence try to build the best 30 card deck that we can uh using the eyes of necessity as needed and then i have two other packs and i'm going to crack this for fun so let's get some oh yeah let's remember this one <clears throat> so that's it we got. Field medic. Super important. So I guess we'll do red cards. Overqualified. Great card. Just in draft. Truce. Great resource card. Bounty board and Padme's ship. So there's our first dice card. Gotta get our dice cards. And we got another red die. I'll try to hide it keep a secret measure for measure if we get a trooper an amazing card we can always pick Fen Rao Tale of Tragedy smuggling ring good resource card exterminate is our uncommon and overkill so red guns red guns red focus that's what we got going on right now and a sinister piece, so we're definitely going red. Discipline mind, great blue card. Wanted and convergence, yellow. And then we have a legendary Captain Phasma, and she's probably too expensive for draft. A downside of uh, Destiny is that when you get these big characters, they are really not that great. I mean, you get a little more health, but 18 points, and unless I get two First Order Stormtroopers, her ability is wasted. Alright. Pulverize. Isolation. It's in a lot of our Smash decks. A good, useful blue card. Calculated Risk. Protective Suit. They are downgrades. I guess that could be useful. We got our first gray, and then a V-Wing. We are all red. Lots of red. Alright, let's mix it up for this draft. It's for fun. There we go. It's all blue. Another pulverize. Strong intuition. Another calculated risk. Hard bargain is our uncommon. Which is not great. And a legendary. Mace Windu's lightsaber. Okay. So two legendaries out of the six. That's not bad. And that's certainly playable on Dooku if I don't get any other characters. Alright, best defense. Not a great red card. Shock collar. Man calculated risk is in here a lot. Fighting pit, and we got a Star Viper. For a yellow vehicle. <coughs> Fighting pick could be fun. Let's see who I get. Ah, another blue die. So we got some variety finally coming. Ooh. Unshackle. Instigate. It's a great one. We're home. And Vigilant Jedi. It's always good to get 
a cheaper character so that you can mix some of those things together. I very well might use him over Dooku, who costs 11. The Sinister Piece flew out of my pack, sorry. <clears throat> so right now, Vigilant Jedi with Fen and the Smuggler would give me 30. Fatal Blow. Lore Hunter. Wounded. Unity Force Street. This is not a great set for <laughs> for uncommons. And we got Dengar's Fireblade. There's a yellow upgrade. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So we got a lot of red stuff. I don't think Phasma in this draft format is playable. You don't get her first order troopers unless you draw them. So she is just just dead. Good pull. Good card to have. But she's dead. And so let's go through the rivals pack. We're taking all the dice cards. So Dooku Saber, Sniper Team. We have to take Fenral. I think we take Outer Rim Outlaw and Vigilant Jedi. And that's 29. Gives us the rainbow. And that lets us take all of the dice cards. So we'll get Hired Muscle. Combat Droid and the Electro Sword. We'll add that to our overkills, which overkill is still good on Fen. And there's even a gun on the Outlaw. And it's all modified sides. Star Viper doesn't have any guns. But it is just raw damage. Windu Saber. Padme Ship to help us focus. And a V a V Wing has some guns. Alright. <clears throat> so we got all of our dice cards. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice cards. That's not bad. We didn't draw that many characters. So we got a decent collection. Let's double check. There's no conditions that we can't meet. Like, you don't have to spot a Jedi. Oh, you do a Jedi. So make sure we didn't pull something we actually can't play. Ambush. This deals raw damage. I can't do the power action, but otherwise, it's a fine lightsaber. Don't have a leader for Padme's ship, but still not bad. And then for draft, the V wings have to get while a villain vehicle dies in your pool, or a hero vehicle. We do have the hero vehicle with Padme's ship, and we don't have a villain vehicle. That's all right. So we get eleven cards. Any of the gray ones particularly great? Shot color is not bad. Just like guaranteed damage. <clears throat> from the draft kit a lot of power action characters I think Shadow is not bad to have we have three characters so flank is good so that's up to 14 cards let's take our best mitigation so Sinister Peace. Pulverizes. Sinister Peace. Measure for Measure. Field Medic. Take all those. <clears throat> Do I think I'll get Fatal Blow off? I have a couple upgrades. Who do I think my opponent's going to go for first. They have similar health. 
If I drop like Windu's saber on the Jedi, that'll probably kill him. We'll come back to that one. <clears throat> Isolation is good. Discipline mine is good. Overqualified is decent removal. Instigate, just action cheating. Are there any dice that we have that are real, real good for calculated risk? This is reroll a die, then if the die is showing a value of two or more, gain a resource. Dengai's fire blade is a lot of high numbers, right? Two melee, four melee, two disrupt, two shield. Let's gamble. Throw that one in there, it'll be fun. I got like three of them. Uh, a wanted is not bad. Smuggling ring. Tap our resource curve. Truce isn't bad. Alright, so that's all the best cards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, then we have eleven dice cards. So we're at twenty-seven. So we need three more cards. What else is good? I don't really have a great mill setup going for Lore Hunter. Strong intuition is not bad as to get dice cards into hand. Two more, two more. We have a fair amount of damage. I think Pulverize is not bad. I hate to deal three to Fen. Is one of our best characters that have like we have pay sides on Outer Rim Outlaw and Vigilant. <clears throat> I feel like Fen is real good, but as a power action, I could deal indirect with it. Maybe that makes that swing worth worth doing. So that gets us to thirty. 30 card deck. Fenral, Outer Rim Outlaw, and a Vigilant Jedi. Going into town. Riding Padme's ship and bringing Windu's saber. A little overkill. That's not too bad. Alright. I know they got the belt. Let's, let's just quickly put these two packs. <laughs> Ooh! Spoiler alert, this is another legendary. Measure for measure, use the force, another instigate, conveyx robbery. Man, uncommons of set are terrible. And we got an Emphy's Nest, legendary. Another character, great in real life. Terrible in draft. <clears throat> Although at 14 points, better. You could take a 10 point character in the uh, Quadite. Force Compliance, Fit of Rage, for a price, it's a great card, Diadem Power Cell, these uncommons, Unscrupulous, I think I tried to use that a little bit, it just wasn't a good card, alright, so 10 packs of Convergence, and built ourselves a sealed Team. Just a couple minutes here. Bring back some memories. Uh, I feel like this mixed damage. We got expensive upgrades. Don't really have super great ramp other than smuggling ring, but I feel like this team would have been alright. I don't know if we would have win it or not, but not too bad. Anyway, thanks for going down memory lane with me here at Dice Commando. And as always, go commando.